Universe Trillion Theory. Welcome to Trillion Theory. Trillion Theory is a new universe theory founded by Canadian theorist, pen name Ed Luke. This is one of 30 videos in my Trillion Theory series. For the full-length cosmic story, go to my YouTube channel, Universe New Trillion Theory. This is video 10, Black Hole Inside Our Earth and Sun. How can a supposedly scary black hole reside inside of a planet or sun? Trillion Theory answers. We think of black holes as destroyers, usually seen devouring light. But we need to dig deeper and ask ourselves, what are black holes really doing? What is their cosmic purpose when they are devouring light? Trillion Theory proclaims a naked black hole must consume light in its initial phase. As a gluttonous light eater, it spins tons of light into matter until its belly and body are totally full. Once full, the cloaked black hole spins slower. For the ensuing billions of years, the cloaked black hole resides inside the core of the sphere it built, trying to control its spun matter while supplying spin on an axis and gravity to its sphere. Black holes eat light for a reason. As cosmic builders, they spin light into matter to erect a sphere around themselves. Thus, there is a small black hole inside of each cosmic sphere. And someday a black hole will be discovered inside of a sphere, thus proving Trillion Theory. Trillion Theory says that there is super science at work in our cosmos. Much more is afoot here than meets the eye. Our cosmos is a growing entity. Solar systems last less than 15 billion years, but the galaxy hotel in which they reside can be hundreds of billions of years old. Quadrillions of black holes work the cosmos, as supermassive controls an entire galaxy, while smaller black holes supply rotation and gravity to suns, planets, and moons. A small naked black hole eats light to build a sphere around itself. It then operates from its cloak position inside of the sphere. A much higher evolved supermassive black hole does not eat light to build a sphere around itself. It stays naked so it can control an entire galaxy of solar systems. First we deal with small black holes. We look at the exterior of a black hole. A black hole sits in space. Its gravity attracts light. This light bends and then Trillion Theory states that the light is spun into matter as it enters the black hole. Trillion Theory says a naked black hole feeds till full as it becomes cloaked inside of the sphere it builds. Clever scientific design. Only two things involved. Light is the incredible material that can spin into matter and later recycle back to light. And black holes are the engines that spin light into matter to build a sphere and billions of years later recycle that matter back to light. What is the internal structure of a naked black hole and what changes after it devours light? Inside the naked black hole an elastic spiral helix pumps up and down to create body spin and gravity. The compartments of the body prepare to fill with matter. Light approaching a black hole bends and slows, making its last cries for help before it vanishes. The black hole spins the light into atoms of matter. Trillion Theory says a small naked black hole eats light spinning it into matter to build a sphere around itself to form a sun, planet, or moon. Compartments of the black hole fill with light spun to matter. The black hole spin slows from the weight. Soon the black hole will be fully cloaked inside of the sphere it built, a sphere destined to be a planet or moon. And if it is the largest of a solar system, it will be destined after just a few billion years to turn into a fiery sun. Some black holes are visible, such as a supermassive black hole that's visible at the hub of a galaxy. And a naked black hole is visible eating light to build a sphere. But most black holes are hidden. After a black hole eats its fill of light to build up a body, it is cloaked inside of its sphere. Most black holes are hidden away, 
cloaked inside of their cosmic sphere? If so, quadrillions of black holes exist in our vast cosmos. Black Hole Size Rules A larger black hole can consume more light to build a bigger sphere. A larger black hole has more gravity pull. Earth's small black hole holds one sphere in orbit, while our Sun's XL black hole holds over 170 in orbit. A supermassive black hole at a galaxy hub holds millions of suns and their solar systems in orbit. Trillion Theory Rules About Black Holes a black hole always wants to eat the most light to become larger in control of other black holes, whereas small black holes are relegated to build a small planet or moon. The very largest black holes are able to grow into supermassive size in control of an entire galaxy. Astronomical odds show that one in a billion black holes ever achieves supermassive status. Cosmos is so old that a supermassive black hole at the hub of a galaxy may be 950 billion years old. Sizes of black holes. The black hole inside of our moon, a tiny size. Earth, small size. Jupiter, medium size. Our sun, large to extra large size. And a large sun, XXL size. And a supermassive black hole, gigantic plus 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 size. Cloaked inside of the sphere it built, the black hole provides axial spin and gravity to its orb. The cloaked black hole inside Earth uses its gravity to hold things on Earth's surface and extends this gravity outward to hold our moon and its tiny black hole in Earth's orbit. Trillion theory is the first to ever say that a black hole resides inside our Earth. This small black hole spun light into matter until it was full. Today it still tries in vain to eat more light, but Earth's surface matter blocks the light. Trillion theory says this about what black holes can do. Light captured is spun into matter. Light is trapped for billions of years. Light escapes after billions of years. Trillion theory says, what goes on inside of a black hole changes with each phase of its cycle. One complete cycle of a black hole takes about 15 billion years before its next cycle commences. At the onset of a new cycle, the black hole is a naked light eater. A cycle ends when the black hole sees all of its trapped light escape. For several billions of years, Earth's cloaked black hole kept strong control over its matter spun from light but a cloaked black hole's control will eventually loosen so it can become naked again. This allows this matter to recycle back to light. When the cloaked black hole inside Earth first weakened, its hottest matter escaped towards the surface via fissures. The first volcano to release hot magna was so powerful that rocks were flung out into space, cratering on other spheres in our solar system. This internal pressure from Earth's cloaked black hole has been responsible for all volcanoes, mountain ranges pushed upwards, continental drift, and long-term climate changes. Far in the future, lava from the black hole inside of Earth will fire up Earth's surface. No fear, our sun's supernova will destroy Earth before that. The black hole inside of Earth will survive, get naked, and be a light heater again. Stephen Hawking said light swallowed up by a black hole was trapped forever. Years later, he said that radiation escaped. Trillion Theory says light eaten by a black hole always escapes after billions of years. Our sun examples a black hole losing its contents in order to be the first to get naked, eat light again, and get the upper hand in building the largest orb for a new solar system. Trillion theory is first to show a black hole inside our sun. This black hole centers our solar system because it was larger than any of the other black holes inside the eight planets and 165 moons of our solar system. The largest black hole did flash eating of light, meaning it spun the very loosest of matter. Thus the largest black hole, coaxed by pull from the other orbs, easily loses control of its flash matter, unraveling matter back to light. It fulfills its destiny of being a sun of this new solar system. 
In a solar system, the largest black hole centering the sun did flash eating of light, spinning the loosest of atoms, which later easily unravel as light from the new sun. Mid-sized black holes spun semi-loose matter, thus these spheres became large gaseous planets. The smallest black holes, losers of the battle for light, took more time to spin their tight, dense atoms. These smaller planets are hard-surfaced. Trillion theory submits a light eaten by a black hole always escapes, usually taking billions of years. Our sun examples a black hole that is now losing its matter back to light. The black hole does this so that it can get naked, become a light eater again, and build a new next generation sphere around itself. Someday the sun of our 6 billion year old solar system will age out at 12 to 15 billion years when it will expand and explode as a supernova, destroying our solar system. Each black hole inside of a sphere will nakedly survive to spin light into an orb to build a new next generation solar system inside of our Milky Way galaxy. Trillion theory sees an ancient black hole as a fantastic recycling machine. Over one 15 billion year span this occurs. Black holes spin light into matter to form a solar system. For billions of years, the slowed black holes are cloaked inside their built spheres, supplying axial spin and gravity. Eventually, the black holes tire, allowing their trapped matter to slowly unravel and heat upwards towards the surface. Eventually, the dominant black hole cloaked inside the sun loses control as it goes supernova. The smaller black holes cloaked inside planets and moons see their matter melted away from their sun's supernova. A graveyard of exposed naked black holes remains. Each black hole regains its phenomenal spin rate to spin light into matter to build its next generation sphere. Black holes recycle solar systems inside ancient galaxies. We shouldn't blindly accept things. Astronomers can be wrong saying that a black hole results from a supernova that implodes in creating a black hole. Trillian theory says no. It says the black hole was always inside of the star. After supernova, the black hole survives to be naked, regaining ultra-fast spin to eat light from the melting of its planets and moons. This action is an illusion of imploding into a black hole. When the sun of the previous solar system exploded to go supernova, its interior black hole survived and quickly gobbled light from the adjacent melting planets and moons. Trillion theory calls this flash eating of light. Trillian theory suggests to astronomers a black hole does not result from a supernova exploding and then imploding. Trillian theory shows that the resulting black hole was always inside the star from the star's birth. Here's a new key to black holes. Astronomers proclaim nothing can escape a black hole. Stephen Hawking recanted saying radiation escapes. Trillian theory states light trapped by a black hole always escapes. It just takes billions of years. Follow the process. A naked black hole eats till full, cloaked inside the sphere it built. But after billions of years, that cloaked black hole weakens, losing its matter which escapes back to light. Volcanoes example this process, and suns, and a supernova whose black hole uncloaks back to naked to build a new sphere. After a supernova, all the surviving naked black holes battle for light to build their next orb. They also use their gravity size to gain the best position in the new solar system. The future sun uses the powerful gravity from its largest black hole to become the central sphere of the new solar system. Mid-sized black holes use their proximity gravity to hold smaller black holes as moons. Trillian theory says a sun's black hole always survives a powerful supernova. Yet the powerful backlash splits the black hole into two, replicating it into two binary black holes. The supernova backlash splits the star surviving black holes into twins. The two could end up as binary black holes so that a new solar system will have two suns. Or the supernova could blast the twins far apart so that each will center its own solar system. Trillian theory shows how a supermassive black hole is different. Cosmos is so old that a supermassive black hole at the hub of a galaxy may be 950 billion years old. 
The supermassive black hole of the galaxy may be an ancient 950 billion years old, while its newest generation of stars and solar systems are younger than 15 billion years. Supermassive at Hotel Central controls millions of stars. Every day another star goes supernova, making the black holes of that solar system replicate and recycle, whereby the galaxy grows in star and solar system population. As supermassive evolves over hundreds of billions of years, it deploys clever adaptation to hasten galaxy growth. It pulls halo suns in close, forcing them to go supernova, where the cloaked black holes that were inside solar system spheres survive naked, replicate, and eat light to build a new sphere for a new solar system. This action gains the galaxy larger, more numerous solar systems. The supermassive avoids growing itself into a sun. Instead, it breathes, expelling light plumes to feed its newly born solar systems. A supermassive black hole evolves to adjust its internals. This way it can be permanent at the hub of its galaxy. Supermassive widens its spiral helix to avoid being bogged down with heavy external matter and forfeiting its fast spin rate. It still wants to consume light, but is able to jettison much of that light as plumes out of its pole. Could astronomers be misreading what they see? Trillion theory estimates our ancient cosmos at a trillion years. Current stars and solar systems are just the latest generation that reside in far older galaxy hotels, where stars always age out and recycle to next generations. Trillion theory has five proofs that it predicts will be substantiated in the future. My Trillion Theory video series is based upon Trillion Theory's seven book series. Your help could be huge. Critical proofs for Trillion Theory require joint venture funding. If you can, partner up with Trillion Theory. If you are an astronomer, an astrophysicist, or a physicist, please partner with Trillion Theory. If you are an investor who likes upside potential, or an angel investor wishing to be part of a legacy, email theory1 at telus.net. For more on Trillion Theory, go to the next video in the Trillion Theory series. And the Trillion Theory, the full version, is now available. To take action, share my Trillion Theory videos and click the subscribe button to receive more of my YouTube videos and visit my website, trillionist.com.